Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and a top Obama advisor. He's come out in tears after Joe Biden's debate performance. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you want to see a competent president again, if you want Donald Trump back in the White House, please hit that join button and become a member of this channel. Van Jones, who used to work for former President Obama, a man I've had fantastic conversations with, really a, a nice man, hardcore liberal, very Democrat. He appeared on CNN last night. This is a man who loves Joe Biden. He's a Joe Biden fan and friend, almost in tears, almost in tears at what he witnessed on that debate stage the absolute collapse of Joe Biden. The absolute collapse. A horrible performance. And Van Jones takes to CNN, national television, and if he could have got on his hands and knees, I think he would have, looks into the camera and begs, begs Joe Biden to step aside. If you're a Democrat, and I've seen some today that are trying, hey, you did great. But the ones that have their feet planted in reality... They're being honest. I think that Joe Biden's presidency is over. He just doesn't know it yet. That's how bad that debate performance was. And he has a choice. He ends it now or he waits for it to be ended for him in November. But, but he's done. I want you to take a look at what Van Jones says and then let me know what you think of all of it in the comments. He didn't do well at all. Uh, he, he did not do well at all. And he looked... Yeah, you know, I'll give you the analysis. You, know, you kind of have the, the old man versus the con man. Uh, I can walk you through how I'm supposed to see it and say it, but I just want to speak from my heart. Um, I love that guy. That's a good man. He loves his country. Uh, he's doing the best that he can. Uh, but he had a test to meet tonight uh, to restore confidence uh, uh, of, of the country and of the base, and he failed to do that. And I think there's a lot of people who are going to want to see him consider um, taking a different course now. Uh, we're still far from our convention, and there is time for this party to figure out a different way forward if he will allow us to do that. Um, but that was uh, not what we needed from Joe Biden, and it's personally painful for a lot of people. It's not just panic, it's pain of what we saw tonight. And if I may just add to that, I think Joe Biden lost in the first three minutes. I think a lot of voters probably tuned out and millions of people are having conversations with their families, with their friends, of if the president is up to the task and if he should step aside. And I'm someone who believes the former president is a threat to democracy. I think he is a threat to the America as we know it. He wants to fundamentally change our institutions. He has laid out what his plan is. I am not confident that that is the man to take him on. You cannot tell me democracy is on the line and then give that performance tonight. If based on that in 18 weeks, Donald Trump will be the president elect. The people.